General Sir Mike Jackson, I was 45 years a soldier, uh, uh, from officer to, that to general. I realized that there was a significant portion of the country who were not with the government on it, and there was concern about legality. Um, I pointed out in, in the discussion period that it's often forgotten, but in early 2003, the opinion polls were saying two to one for intervention in Iraq. That reversed after the, uh, really after the pretty disastrous decisions which were made regarding the post-conflict phase, post-maneuver conflict phase. Um, uh, I'll, but I, I often say, having had a small part, modest part, in playing, um, uh, in um, putting um, Slobodan Milosevic into a cell in The Hague, I had no wish to be his next door neighbor. Um, so um, I read all the UN Security Council resolutions, of which there are about 17 from the invasion of Kuwait way before. Um, and um, not all agree, but um, uh, with the conclusion I reached was that this man has been in defiance of the UN for over a decade, and enough is enough. It was this question of uh, legality. Um, and as I say, two thirds of the country saw it as legitimate. Now, in an ideal world, legality and legitimacy are the same thing. But it's not an ideal world. I mean, I was the Grand Commander in Kosovo, which really, I don't think anybody could make a, a case to say it was legal. There was no UN Security Council resolution. Um, but it was generally, in the West certainly, thought to be the right thing to do. In other words, it was legitimate. But it was almost certainly illegal. So these are difficult concepts sometimes. The whole question of intervention is in that sort of arena, it seems to me. It, because it's, for the, the, it's the politicians, of course, who decide whether to intervene or not. It's we, the armed forces, who then follow that direction, if, if that is uh, what it's called. Um, yes, um, intervention has been criticized uh, severely. Uh, particularly Iraq, I think, uh, would be probably top of the critical list. Um, equally well, uh, when nothing was done about Rwanda, Western politicians got a kicking because they stood by, did nothing, and uh, blood on their hands in that very emotive phrase. So that sort of decision is very difficult. And um, I'm not going to sit in judgment about saying, well, he was right, she was wrong, whatever the case may be. They are very difficult, complex circumstances, and you don't know everything. Part of it is imperfect knowledge as well. The concept which some people seem to have, that if a soldier is killed or injured on operations, somebody is to blame, in the sense that you can do risk-free operations. It's an absurdity. Um, uh, there is indeed something to blame. It's called the enemy. Um, <laughs> and so one has to accept when you join the military that casualties are going to be part of what you do sooner or later. Uh, now, what will weigh on any commander from a lance corporal upwards is doing things which minimize. You will not eradicate the risk of casualties, um, but to minimize that risk so far as you are, uh, so far as you are able. Yes, that. Um, <coughs> and military history, you know, is full of uh, of decisions which appear to have pretty grievous consequences. Um, but you will never know, because it didn't happen, what the alternative 
how the alternative would have turned out. These are very difficult judgments sometimes. Well, there can be difficult decisions, and uh, as I reflected a moment ago about some military decisions, um, you, you make them on the best judgment, on the best information, and after if there is time, um, as exhaustive a debate with your immediate staff as you can. Um, but uh, I know what I think was being alluded to is that you, yeah, I mean, big decisions, history made so you perhaps didn't get the right one or the less right, you took the less right one. It's very hard to be black and white here. I reflect sometimes. Um, well, one will always reflect and one will always mourn uh, people killed and injured. But I hope this doesn't sound pompous, but um, I'm not sure I, I would do anything different. Um, given the state of knowledge, given the options, I don't think I would have done anything very much different.